Most of the world should be up to date, but for those of you who aren't, five people boarded a submarine for over $250,000 apiece. All of it was under a company called Ocean Gate Expeditions. This submarine would go to the bottom of the ocean to visit the RMS Titanic. On June 18th, 2023, they would set out for an expedition from Canada. Unfortunately, no one on board would ever return. At 8 a.m. on that day, the group would venture to the depths of the Atlantic to view the Titanic wreckage. The Titanic wreckage lies at over 12,000 feet below the surface of the ocean. Originally, the group was scheduled to arrive to the surface at 3 p.m. on that same day. However, they never did. It wouldn't be until almost three hours later that the Coast Guard would receive a report that the submarine never arrived. And with that, a massive international search would begin. From the time the submarine is sealed, there is roughly 96 hours worth of air, so theoretically, they could still be alive at this point in the search. However, that wasn't the case. On June 22nd, pieces of debris would be found on the ocean floor. After examination, it would be determined that the submarine had imploded and sunk to the bottom of the Atlantic. There were no survivors. Everything about this is tragic, but what gets me about this case isn't just the fact they died thousands of feet below the surface of the ocean. It's the thought of what if they had survived the initial implosion. According to sources, once a vessel implodes at those depths, the air inside heats up rapidly. This would be hot enough to burn an entire human body in mere seconds. Regardless, the extreme change in pressure would mean that everyone on board would die instantaneously. Most likely, death would be so quick that the human brain wouldn't have time to process the pain. In this scenario, survival is impossible. All of this can be observed in an experiment with a simple soda can. Partially fill a tin can with water and then bring it to a boil. After this, quickly place the can upside down in a body of cold water. The can will collapse. What happens in this case is the steam within the can pushes the air out. Since the air pushing outward inside the can has been removed, the can itself cannot withstand the pressure of our atmosphere and collapses. This is the result of our normal atmosphere. Imagine the submarine as well as the people inside under roughly 400 times this pressure. But let's just say you were on this submarine and you did survive. What would happen to the human body 12,000 feet below sea level? Imagine yourself and your fellow passengers hearing the creaking of the sub. Something has gone wrong. Suddenly, the sub implodes, the water pressure pulling the submarine in on itself. The metal crushes the flesh and bone of everyone on board. Somehow you survive. Obviously, you would only have a few minutes of oxygen once in the ocean. Unfortunately, this would be the least of your issues since the human body has a hard time with rapid changes in pressure. Once outside the submarine, you would meet the freezing cold touch of the ocean water. Particles of fish waste and other materials surround you. Unfortunately, you wouldn't be able to see any of it. In fact, you can barely see your own hands in front of your face. The sunlight cannot penetrate the ocean surface beyond approximately 1,000 meters. A bubble of air escapes from your mouth, trickling along your face before rising above you. You flail your arms and legs, but it doesn't help. At sea level, pressure is 14.7 pounds per square inch. This doubles every 33 feet below the surface. According to the NOAA, whales and other sea creatures at this depth can survive due to their flexible cartilage. Their rib cages are able to bend under the pressure. Unfortunately, humans are much different. Under the immense pressure, your bones would snap. Your internal organs collapse as well. All of this would happen in a matter of seconds. Unfortunately, this would most likely be the end of it, 
and you would sink to the ocean floor next to those lost to the Titanic. Here, the human body decomposes much slower than on land due to the cold temperature as well as there being no air. As for the submarine and those lost to the unforgiving sea floor, the Coast Guard has stated the bodies may never be recovered. However, only time will tell.